Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to hide items or entire sections within Moodle. So as always, you go into your course, the first thing you do is turn edit mode on in the upper right corner, and you scroll down once it is in edit mode, and we're just going to go to a particular section. So say this is the section, uh, if I want to hide specific things, right, so maybe I want to hide this particular activity. I click on the three buttons here, the little kebab menu, and I select hide. When I do that, of course, it tells me it is hidden from students. Now, if I want to hide an entire section, such as, oh, I don't want them to head into the next week, then I actually come to the section header, and when I click on the kebab menu and I select uh, hide topic, it actually hides the entire thing. So that's really useful, of course, uh, if, I just, if I'm going through and I wanna hide weeks, uh, future weeks. And when I'm ready to make it available, I once again click on the kebab menu and I do show topic, and it will show anything within that topic that doesn't already have a setting to hide. And so what I mean by that is sometimes you might have something, it could be a discussion, and you will say like, I don't want this discussion to show up until you know, uh, Tuesday of the week. Uh, when you make the topic visible, uh, that one that has a specific setting will not show until that setting is met. So uh, these will default to the topic unless they have a particular setting available. Um, you could also, if you wanted, set these as times. Uh, so if you went to edit topic, in other words, you could set this for when you want it to be shown. So if you came in here and you come under restrict access, you might do something like, um, I want to restrict access to a particular date. They won't be able to see this until, um, let's decide, maybe it's you know January 20th at, uh, we'll do 6 a.m. Right. So uh, what this says is student must match the following. They can see it um, starting from the, uh, January 20th. Uh, you could also play around and say until. So if you wanted it to close at a particular point, um, notice with the eye, it will. So what this is telling you is that the item will be grayed out. So they'll be able to see the topic, but not necessarily go into it. If you want to just keep it completely off their radar then you can actually click on that and then you have the slash through the eye and when you hover over that, it tells you hidden entirely if the user does not meet the following conditions. All right, so just the gray to eye means they'd be able to see that the topic is there but not really do much beyond that. Uh, slashed eye, sounds horrible, uh, slashed eye means that it will not appear at all. So if we hit save changes, we come back to the course, we will see Uh, if we go down to, oh, we're already in this subject, so it tells us right now it's available from January 20th at 6 a.m. onwards, hidden otherwise. Um, so this won't show up. Now the only thing about this is it doesn't tell us that these are, it tells us up here. Um, but if you remember when we hit an entire section, right, when we came up and we said, you know, hide the entire section or hide the entire topic, um, all of them ended up with this hidden from students. So it can be a little bit confusing. Um, and we'll see this in a second once it loads. So we see here now it says, so we see now it says uh, hidden from students next to each item. So that's the, the difference with that extra setting. If, is, if you just hide it, it will say everything is hidden. And in this case, if you set a date in which you want it released, it won't say hidden. Um, if you know, like if you understand those differences, it doesn't really matter that much to you, but for some folks it may, you know, that, reass that reassurance of that visual saying what can and can't be seen um, might be better. So hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.